Hey, good morning, Dallas, Texas. Thanks for staying with me, because you know when I take a break, I'm always out getting a great guest. I've got Marcus Lamons. I hope I'm saying it right. He is, you saw, but you've seen him on TV, whether I'm saying it right or not. He's on CNBC's The Prophet. I love that show. And he's going to talk with us and help us with our businesses. Marcus, welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. Welcome, and I'm glad. I love Dallas. It's a great place. It is. I mean, it's a whole nother planet. I love Dallas. It really is. It's a great place. And you know, we have a great business client. You know, we got a major car uh, uh, producer moving here. And we, we're just really, really hot right now, Marcus. And I have two businesses there myself. I have two camping worlds in Dallas. So I'm a, a big fan of the town and then looking for a third location. Well, hey, we got a place called Plano. We got a place called Grand Prairie. We got a lot of places. So bring your business here. We love business in Texas. Great. Tell us a little bit. Help us small business people. You know, I do this radio show, but I had to form a company to do the radio show and a production company. So give us some tips about cash flow, knowing your numbers, and surrounding yourself with smart people. Right. So it's very simple for me. I mean, I really would give three bits of advice when it comes to running a small business or even a large business. I really want people to focus on people, process, and product. And they sound obvious, but I'll get into them a little bit. And the people side, you want to surround yourself with great people, people that are smarter than you and people that have an expertise in an industry. Because although we try to do everything realistically in order to run a small business, you got to have more people than one. Number two, I want you to focus on product. In your case, you're providing content. And so you want to stay relevant and you want to keep people coming back. And whether you're selling hamburgers or radio shows, you want to make sure that you're delivering something that's good and it's sound and it's reliable. People can count on it. And then last, you want to have the right process. And for me, it's simple. In order to run a good business, you have to know your numbers. I find small businesses all over the country that don't know their numbers and they don't know how much cash they have and they don't manage their expenses. And so one of the things that I do, and I do it in my own business, is I use lots of different tools, whether it's the internet, whether it's best practices from other business owners, or whether it's partnering with a bank. I went ahead and installed the Inc. from Chase card in all of my small businesses. It gives me the ability to manage all of the expenses, all of the spend. I can see it on one sheet of paper, or I can log on to my app, and I can see all these things that they're doing. And so often, I believe cash is king, so often they don't know where their cash is. Well, I can see it in their numbers, and when they don't know it, it's a problem. That's a great, great advice. Know where your money goes, but that's for personal and business. That's right, and it's for personal and business. That's a great point. Let me ask you, you say you own two camping worlds. What else do you own? What made you the profit on TV, on CNBC? So I own about 100 different businesses across the country. Camping World is my primary business, but I own everything from an ice cream manufacturer to a used car dealer to an auto buying service to a IT staffing company to a raw snack food company to a candy business to a clothing company. I mean, the list goes on and on. And, and the guiding principle in all of those businesses and every single one of them is that I have amazing people. And, you know, like anybody, I make mistakes. There's been plenty of businesses that I've invested in that I've lost my money. And so I'm not one of those guys that will tell you that everything I touch turns to gold. It's not the case. Uh, but when I find good people and they follow those three processes, the outcome usually is one that, that I think we all can be proud of. Tell me where we can send the listeners to get more information on the Chase card. Because I think that's real important. Yeah, so what I always tell people is they can go on to inkfromchase.com to get a lots of different tips from, from, from Inc. on how to run a small business and how the card even works. And I also encourage people to go on to cnbc.com and there's a nice small business section where not only our show, The Profit, is featured, but there's some great Shark Tank tips as well. And so it's, it's, it's a lot of information out on the Internet. Real quick, tell me what are we going to be seeing on The Profit in upcoming episodes? And so uh, uh, see, the second half of season two will start in October. We'll be doing an extra between eight and ten episodes in the next, uh, in the next run. And you'll see everything from uh, a lighting company to a clothing company to a little bit more food to manufacturing. Uh, we're going to try to up our game a little bit. And uh, in two seasons so far, 14 episodes, I've invested over $7 million of my own money, nobody else's money. Uh, and I look to continue that trend in the next run of shows. 
Well, I hate to make this comparison, but you're a shark without a tank. You're all by yourself. I'm, I'm, I'm a shark without a tank. I'm just a little guy, little guppy sitting on the sidewalk. So we're, uh, we're, we're doing as good as we can do. We're trying. Well, I love it. I love your show. I'm going to continue to watch, and I'm going to continue to learn from you because I think you're a great, just you're a liquid source of information about business, Mark. Thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. The Valder Beebe Show, a new kind of talk show, right here on Black Premier TV, Monday and Wednesday at 6.30 p.m.